a great example for the general listenership around the applications or the, the potential, the need for artificial intelligence solutions um, to help us. Because GI cancers throughout the entire intestine, from the mouth all the way to the other end, so colon cancer, stomach cancer, esophageal cancer, we miss those things, right? We are getting better at treatment. We're getting better at picking things up earlier, but getting better doesn't mean that we are great. So you, you asked about colonoscopy and colon cancer uh, screening. The guidelines are pushing the envelope. I love it that we are now looking at uh, population-based guidelines. We are trying to uh, lower the age for starting uh, screening appropriately. We're using other tests that people can can do to give them a, a, an idea that they're a higher risk. But we're still relying on a human-driven modality. So I and colleagues of mine, we put a camera into the colon and we look. And the utility of that test depends on my finding polyps. Okay, polyps are little precancerous or potentially precancerous lesions that can lead to colon cancer. And if we miss them, cancers get uh, uh, developed and, uh, you know, it's not a great outcome. So human nature is such that we do miss things. Uh, and I don't care what any of my colleagues say. I stand on the podium now as an AI advocate, and I still get challenged by people in the audience saying, my polyp detection rate is amazing. I don't need artificial intelligence. And I say, okay, well, that is great. I'm glad that you don't think you can get better because everybody can get better. Um, but there are many, many people out there who you know, perform averagely. And I'm not sure that I want to be having my fate um, for screening based on an average evaluation. So we absolutely need help to find small polyps or even larger polyps behind all these folds that you talk about, all the corners in the corner and all the crevices, again, that you mentioned. Things get hidden there. We get distracted. We get tired as humans. Long story short, yes, we need help. <laughs>